down here at the Patriot Games Qualifier in Wisconsin with team number 10100 Phoenix Force. Checking out this super cool robot here on Behind the Bot. Uh, really cool things to look at. Obviously, the cool LEDs. They have a really cool elevator stacking, eight tall. I love their capstone manipulator they have as well. Uh, so I'm here with Moira and Thomas, and we're going to check out more about this here on Behind the Bot. Uh, so, Moira, I want to start with you. A lot of cool features on this robot. Tell me about one that really stands out to you that you want to tell the first community about. Yeah, so I think our capstone mechanism, which is really fun. So we can move forward and it's magnetically attached to our robot and we can easily get it out of the robot as well, just like that. And ooh, there we go, up, and we're ready to stack. So how did you come up with that? Because I, I think that's pretty unique versus maybe some other teams. So how did you come up with that concept? So first we actually had a solid lock like most teams do, but then we realized it wasn't working as well as we wanted it to. Uh, we wanted to be able to get that eighth block as well as the Sky Stone. And then we looked at the rules and we're like, hey, it doesn't need to be solid. So we have all of the dimensions and that's how we did it. It was a bit of a challenge getting the magnet part though, but we figured it out. Yeah, I love the creativity there. And Thomas, I know you want to talk about this really cool elevator you guys have. Very efficient, uh, stacking uh, at least eight tall on that, so why don't you tell us a bit more about that. Um, so we found all these parts on Go Build -a, uh, just slapped them all together. It's a dual pulley system, so it's, you don't have to rely on gravity because it's not as efficient and, it's, you know, not relying on gravity. And put it all together and they work perfectly fine. You can lift up and you can hold all the blocks like that. One of the things I uh, talked about Go Build, and I do notice you guys have the uh, Go Build the Mechanums on there where you can make your own uh, uh, your own colors on it. So uh, what, what made that stand out to you? What made you choose Mechanum? And then why did you choose to go build the Mechanums? So uh, we, we've been using Mechanum wheels for a couple years now, actually, uh, because they actually help us strafe side to side rather than having to do a full turn. It makes it a lot faster, a lot more efficient, and it's really easy to um, manipulate, really, with our tank drive and or with an arcade drive. Tell me about this uh, manipulator. You have this mechanism that reaches out really far and grabs something. I'm curious to see a bit more about that. And what is it? Yeah, the reach arm that you have. What does that do? So at the end of uh, end game, you have to reach and you have to go into the uh, a bit over where the foundation is, so you can reach over a robot and it goes in rainbow mode, as you can see here. And I want to wrap up here uh, in regards to this, but I know you guys have a nice foundation manipulator, and if you don't mind, touch on the LEDs a little bit for me. Yeah, so uh, we've got 480 LEDs total on our robot right now. Uh, they flash different colors depending on speed settings, so the robot can talk to us while we're running it so we know what's going on. So red means really fast, blue means really slow, and we use them to maneuver uh, a lot more precisely around the field so um, and during autonomous it also flashes di different colors depending on what it's doing so if it touches the foundation it'll flash like a flame almost uh, to let us know that it has actually reached the foundation and it's going through the process very cool and lastly can we show off your foundation manipulator here and we'll wrap up with that yes we can just move that capstone quick there we go do you want to tell me a little bit about the uh, just the thought process behind that it looks pretty simple but quite effective yeah, so it's actually, uh, we call them the whiskers, uh, so our robot actually has a name, we call them BDBD, BD. and they're basically side sideways latches that hold on to the robot, uh, not the robot, sorry, the foundation and help us move it around. Um, a lot, we've seen a lot of like teams have something really far out and move reach down, but that was just too bulky and we weren't really able to work with it well, so we thought that something small, something simple would work best. Well, 10100 Phoenix Force down here looking really great. I love this machine. Guys, good luck during the competition here and of course during the rest of the season as well. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.